Now we are going to discuss the shortage of first CPU scheduling algorithm. The mode of scheduling is non preemptive. The criteria is burst time. As the name of scheduling shortage job, the process which is having the smallest burst time will going to be scheduled first. So to understand, better to take an example. We are having the following processes with the respective bus time and arrival times. Let's take five processes P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. The arrival times are Now process schedule the processes in the CPU. To understand it, let's make again chart. As we are seeing the first process that is P1 is arriving at time one. So the CPU is ideal for 0 to 1. Now at time 1, process P1 is arrived and it having the burst time of 7 so it will complete at time 8. Now as we are discussing the shortage of us, so we are searching for the shortest burst time process having so the process p4 having the shortest bus time of 2 so we are going to schedule p4 next and it will complete at time 10 now the next smallest bus time is 3 so we are going to schedule p3 and it will complete at time 13 now this next smallest is P5 having the burst time of 4 so we are going to schedule P5 and it will complete at time 17 and last that is P2 having the burst time of 5 is going to complete in last and it will complete at time 22 so now we having the completion times Completion time of P1 is 8, completion of P2 is 22, completion time of P3 is 13, completion time P4 is 10, completion time of P5 is 17. See so we having completion time, now we are going to calculate the turnaround time. So as we know the turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time. So, com so turnaround time of P1 is that is 8 minus 1 that is 7. 
completion time of P2 is 22 minus 3 that is 19 completion time of P3 is 13 minus 4 that is 9 completion time of P4 is 10 minus 2 that is 8 and completion time of P5 is 17 minus 5 that is 12 now we are having turn down time now we are going to calculate waiting time to calculate waiting time we have to subtract bus time sorry turn down time to calculate waiting time we are going to subtract bus time from the turnaround time so the waiting time of p1 is 7 minus 7 that is 0 waiting time of p2 is 19 minus 5 that is 14 waiting time of p3 is 9 minus 3 that is 6 waiting time of p4 is 8 minus 2 that is again 6 and the waiting time of p5 is 12 minus 4 that is 8 so now we are having the waiting times now we are going to calculate average turnaround time that is TAT that is equals to 7 plus 19 plus 9 plus 8 plus 12 divided by number of processes that is 5 so the average turnaround time is 55 by 5 and that is going to be 11 and the average waiting time is is equals to 0 plus 14 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 divided by 5 that is equals to 34 by 5 that is equal to 